Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to replicate the concept of first dot and last dot in SAS in R. So here we want to identify the groups in which there is only one record. Let's say we have the data for 19 students in a class and in age we have the values like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So the requirement is to identify if there is any age group in which there is only one student. So we are looking or trying to create a data set which looks like this because in all the other age groups we have at least two records and only in 16 age group we have only one student. So the requirement is to identify the age groups in which there is only one student. So how do we do it in SAS? So what we need to do is we need to sort the records based on the age value. So we are specifying that on the by statement in the proc sort procedure. So and then in the next data step we are making use of by group processing and then whenever we specify a variable on the by statement it we know that it creates two temporary variables for each of the variables specified on the by statement. So as we have specified here age on the by statement, it creates two temporary variables first dot age and last dot age for age variable. The value of first dot age will be one on the first record in that age group and the value of last dot age will be one on the last record on that in that age group. So on the, all the other records, so it will be zero. So similarly for first dot age, it will be one only on the first record and all the other records, it will be zero for that age group. So if you take a look at 11, so first dot age will be one on this record and last dot age will be one on this record. Whereas on the first record, last dot age will be zero because as this is not the last record in the age group of 11. Similarly for 11 on the second record of 11, as this is the last record, last dot age will be one. As this is not the first record, first dot age will be zero. So we, when we said first dot age and last dot age, what we are saying is if first dot age is equal to one and last dot age is equal to one. So both of them will be one only when there exists only one record for that age group. So when we see the value uh, record for age group is equal to 16. So for first dot age, so the question is, is this the first record in the value of 16 in age variable? Yes. So for last dot age, the question is, is this the last record with the value of 16 in the age variable? Yes. So as both of them will be true only when there exists only one record in that group. So we are making use of this logic to filter the groups which has only one record in that. So this is how we can get to that result in using SAS. How do we get to the same result in R? So here, what we are doing here is, so we are creating a data set named only one in group using class data set and passing it on to group by function. So which means we are trying to group the records based on the values present in age variable. And then we are creating a variable uh, called n rows using mutate function and making use of n function. So n function returns the number of records in the data set if we have not grouped it. But if we have grouped it, it creates, it gives us the number of records in each age group. So what does n rows value will have is on all 11, say for example, on all the records of 11, as we have two records with the value of 11, we'll have a value of two here. And similarly for 12, one, two, three, four, five, we have five records. So the n rows variable will have a value of five on all the records of 12. Similarly, on for all the other values of age, it will have the number of records uh, containing the value of 15, etc. on that particular uh, rows. And for 16, so what will be the value? The value will be one because there exists only one record with the value of 16. So on the records with 16, the value one would be populated. And then we are passing that resulting data set which contains the n rows into filter function and then we are subsetting only those rows which have the 
value of 1 in n rows variable. So that value will be 1 only when there exists only one record in that group. So, the, so we'll now move on to the demo of this and then see how this works. Let us have our SAS and R session side by side and then let us try to create our class data set. So I am using F3 button on my keyboard to run this piece of code. Let us go to the libraries, work and then take a look at the class data set. We have 19 students data and the data is arranged by name. So in the next step we were sorting the records based on the value present in each group. So let us now examine the class again. If we now see the values or uh, the records are sorted based on the values in age variable in ascending manner. So which means the lowest age value records come on top and if there exists more than one record as we have not given any second variable in the sort the record which appears first in the 11 age group in the input data set would appear first here in the output data set. And similarly all the other records are sorted and then we are making use of this data step by statement and the two temporary variables which get created because of uh, age being specified in the by statement to subset the record. So let us try to execute this code and then take a look at the output data set that is generated. If we see here, so as first dot and last dot age will be one only on those records which has one record in that age group. So which is for the case of 16 and that is for Philip. So that record gets subsetted. So let's see how we can replicate that here in R. So let us try to create the input data. So by running this piece of code, now I have my class data set created and all 19 records are present. So let us now try to run the core piece of code. So here we are making use of class data set and then we are creating a data set named only one in group by making use of class and then passing it on to the group by function and then passing it further on to the mutate function and then passing it on further on to the filter function. So let us try to run the code till here groups and then examine the temporary instance where group values are getting created. So if we see only one in group now. So along with the input variables name, sex, age, height, weight, we have some temporary or uh, behind the scenes grouping related information is being stored. And then we will try to execute the code till here, the mutate and rows function. So which means it will now add the record count within age group, within each age group into a variable named n rows. So let us try to execute that piece of code and then examine only one in row. So if we now see n rows data set, it has like the record with the value of 14. So we have four records. So if we try to sort the data set based on age, so we have two records in 11. So we have the value of two in n rows. So for 12, we had five records. So the value of five is appearing in n rows variable. And for 13, it's three. And let us take a look at for 16, there was only one record. So for the grouped count in n rows, so it has the value of one. So we are making use of this n rows value to filter the groups, which only has one record. So we will now run this entire piece of code and then see. So let us now open only one end group. So as 16 is the only age group which will have the value of n rows is equal to one, that record gets subsetted. So we can further keep only the age variable if we want to identify only the age values only which has uh, one record. So this is how we can replicate the concept of first dot and the last dot using mutate and uh, n function and filtering that using uh, the value of one in that variable. So we could further simplify this by making use of n function within the filter function itself. So if we try to execute this piece of code again, so it should still result us in the same. So what we were doing is like I was just trying to show you the n rows variable the n value of n function 
in a variable called n rows earlier but so we could just bring out that logic and embed that within the filter function itself so this is how we can make use of uh, or replicate the first dot and last dot concept in our tidyverse package thank you for watching and keep learning